So the first step that I usually share is the four step process is, is the willingness that is needed to experience your true happiness, right? So yeah, I'm done and at the same time, that's the willingness, I'm so open to no, like not, you know, to let go of the suffering and at the same time, uh, the willingness to, to, be, to be open to the suffering. It's interesting because it's like, it's not denying it, it's like, it's a welcoming. So it's like, whatever you don't like, give me something that you don't like, that you never want to experience again. It could be like, it could be like, oh, I never want to experience like that person talking to me like that, or I don't know, right? So it's like my husband, so uh, I'll give you an example. I never want him to speak partially to me, you know, because he's German, so sometimes I'm not used to that. As Cubans, we're like, Amor, corazón, mi vida. And he's like, I'm not used to it. It throws me off. It scares me because I'm used to lightness, happy, joy, joy. But again, he's my master teacher. Our relationships are all master teachers. The Course in Miracles shares as well, as I share in my book, that everything outside is serving you. So every, every person that you're seeing in the physical is there to give you everything you need to wake up to your true self. How gracious. Wow, thank you for playing your part. You're coming in to give me everything I need so I can remember who I am again. Thank you. But shit, you pissed me off. <laughs> but that's part of the process, right? So for me, it's like my, my husband, what he gives me is like, if I say, oh, you know, I never, I never want to be me again, what I do is, and I know that this is kind of radical, I say, I say, I look forward to him being mean to me again. Right? Why? Because I don't want to fight reality, and it's not like he's going to do it, but I prefer to be open to it than say, oh, no, no, I don't want this again, or I don't want him to be not mean to me again. Why? Because if it triggers me, I need to go inside, and I need to work on it. So what happens is when you're living your happy, you're willing to understand that everything begins and ends with you, period. What does that mean? It begins and ends with you. What does that mean? Nothing outside could truly hurt you. What's hurting you is what? So, what is what gives you the suffering? Do you guys know what gives you the suffering? What's what triggers the suffering? What? Your belief about okay, it is. exactly. So your beliefs are always what's hurting. So whatever you're thinking and believing is what's hurting you, which is the kaka, right, that I talked about, so the kaka thoughts, so that is what's really hurting, so those are the beliefs, and and so everything else is a story, so everything is a story, so what's going on in your life, like right now, um, ta uh, Tammy, Tammy, woman sitting on chair with skirt, shoes, right, this is you, this is all you got right now. Everything else is a story. Does that make sense? So you're sitting here and everything else is just a story because it's not really playing out. It's only in your head that it's playing out. It's not, I mean, are you fine right now? So I, so I believe that, um, so especially in talking with a harsh husband, I think that how I deal with it is my story. Oh, like how we deal with it. Not that I'm going to accept that. Mm -hmm. in any way. I wouldn't accept that. Mm -hmm. But I would accept that it happened and I can learn from it. But where I go from there isn't necessarily accepting it every time. Yeah. I guess that's how I feel. And I love how you said that because just because just because I'm open to Christian being mean to me again, and again, my husband's amazing. I love him and he's a really great guy. I'm just using him as an example of like sometimes like I believe that he is not satisfying me my needs or he's not acting accordingly so I can be comfortable. Because this is what we do. So it doesn't mean that we allow mean behavior, it doesn't mean anything. What it means is, is that when we have our beliefs in check, we have a clear mind and then hence we act accordingly. Does that make sense? So it's it's interesting because sometimes people think like if you're accepting or you're open or you're, you're, it's your passive. On the contrary, you're not passive. You're actually so awake and so enlightened that you can say, I understand, but no. But it comes genuinely. It's like, 
oh, no, 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 but I need the money, or, you know, I really, you know, I need help. I understand. Why not? So you're in your power, but you're very awake. It's like you're, it's just, it's, it's just, there's nothing to do but just be. So that's the first step is the big willingness. And what happens is, is like, what I find is that we, we're willing. We're like, we're willing. Like, aren't you guys willing to experience love, or be the love that you are? Aren't you willing to not suffer anymore? Aren't you willing to live in peace? Like, aren't you willing? You know what I find? Not really. And we gotta get really honest about that. Because it's like, oh, I'm willing, but I still wanna believe that my husband could actually cause my suffering. So I need to have complete responsibility, and this is very radical. And I'm happy you got the book ahead of time, because Tammy's gotten warmed up. She's like, have you read how long I've, uh, how, how far along? One chapter, two chapters? Um, I'm not sure what chapter, but um, <coughs> I feel like I've read enough um, to really trust. Yeah. Like really trust in in the process, and not and like you say, not getting freaked out by different terminology, mm -hmm. but the whole feeling of just knowing that the things when you say out there are really the things that I can't control. Yes. Yes. Ding 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 you want to come to G class? <laughs> no. Yeah. You, learn you from can't yeah you yeah. can't you can't it's like it's it's like it's like this is it. Choose. You know? This is a circumstance. Choose. Do you wanna fight the circumstance? That's why I said you, you there's a welcoming energy. You know, choose. Do you want to suffer or do you want to heal? And the thing is, the egoic mind, which is the kaka mind, will always go to the, oh, I need to fight this, or I need to do something, or I need to control this, or, or, and then, or I need to fight this because then there's going to be some sort of gain. If I'm an asshole, there's going to be a gain. Trevor, you like my sense of humor, huh? It's like, I'm going to gain something because I'm defending. I got to defend. Course in Miracles says, in my defenselessness, if there's anything you take out of this workshop, is in my defenselessness, my safety lies. Pow, boom, chaka chaka. Right? It's like, that's it. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. You defend, that's already a thing, a little thing. Ding, 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 ding. If I'm defending, I'm making this real. I'm believing that this person outside has control over what I'm thinking and believing and control of my happiness. Oh, no, I'm done. But, you know, there's like, I want that, but not really. Does that make sense? It's like, we compromise. We make exceptions to our happiness. We say, oh, you know, I want to, you know, I, I don't want to feel this victimization. You know, I want to feel empowered. But at the same time, you're not, it's not aligned. It's like, I am love, but I believe that something outside of me completes me. You know? Something else I make, so this doesn't match. It's like, I am love, I am love. So, oh my God, I want more abundance, or I need more money. All right, so I need more money, I'm, ab I'm abundance, but I'm gonna worry and suffer and believe that something outside is hurting me, my boss that fired me or whatever, so there's no, so it's like, I'm abundance, and I, and I recognize I am abundance because I am as God created me. So there's like alignment there. So does that make sense how we like sabotage our happiness? Because it's like we say we desire all these things or you know anything and are, are we're so undisciplined in our in our thinking. We're so undisciplined. So it's like I want this, but who I'm being and my thoughts are that I'm thinking are not aligned to that. Are you guys got me there? Okay. So happiness. So happiness of the world teaches us what? I'm gonna be happy when I get the degree, right? I'm gonna be happy when I have to get married, I have the kids. I'm gonna be happy when I have money in the bank. I'm gonna be happy when blah blah blah. So it's like it's all external happiness to the world, which is fine. It's it's part of what we're taught. I'm not saying that having things in form, you know, when I say form, it's form, right? This is form. I like things in form. I'm Libra. Who else is a Libra? You know, I just like pretty things. Do we like pretty things? Yes, I like is. this chair. This chair is really pretty. I love this chair. But you know what the difference is? It doesn't define me. This chair doesn't define me. Oh my God. My book is so pretty. I'm grateful I'm an author. But this book doesn't define me. Being an author doesn't define me. You know what defines me? God defines me. Love defines me. That is where my source is. Being a mother doesn't define me. Being married doesn't define me. I love it, guys. You guys know I love Ari. I love my husband and everything. But that doesn't define me. 
I need to learn that I am defined by nothing. I'm defined by love because if I believe that something outside fills me in any way, then I lose my identifications outside of me. So whenever the book doesn't work out or I don't get as many likes as I should have or I follow as many likes, I'm going to suffer. But if I'm not attached to that, then that's not the goal. So it's like, what's defining you? So in the world of form, it's funny because what defines you is everything outside. Right? And that's fine. I love form things. Now, I'm sure you guys love form things too. You guys like to dress good or this is a beautiful place to live. Um, but recognize that that's not a source. And we enjoy it. But it's not our source. So one time uh, when I was when I was doing my book, and I'm, I'll probably wrap it up like in 15 minutes here. Um, I was doing podcasts, and I kept on being asked in podcasts, like, "Can you be happy all the time?" I'm I'm happy. Is that what you're saying? I know you're happy, Trevor. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thing you you're are sharing. happy all the time. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. And then when you're happy, you're happy for all of us. So thank you for that. <laughs> But can I offer that I think that that's his gift for everything that he's gone through. The ability to be happy is the gift of it. And that's that's living your happy, Trevor. You've been living your happy, you know, before the book came out. <laughs> you should be the live your happy model. Come on. Trevor got in a really bad a snowboarding accident. And he's sitting here today, that tells you everything. That tells you how resilient we are. Yeah. It tells you how resilient we are. That is good all the way. <laughs> so, um, when I was told, asked that question, can we be happy all the time? What are you saying? Can we be happy 24-7? I was surprised that what blurted out of my mouth is, yes. And I kind of wanted to take it back. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Let me, you know, it's like I wanted to take the whole words back to, to the person. They're like, what do you mean? Yes, you can be happy all the time. Can you be happy 24-7? And I kept on saying, yeah. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to get myself out of this one? <laughs> so what I channeled or what came through is we can be happy all the time because Happiness is our inheritance and happiness is our function and happiness is our birthright. Just as we believed that unhappiness is our inheritance and unhappiness and depression is our birthright. Because we believe for so long that sadness is normal, that depression is normal, that being sad for a long amount of time is normal. That And it's fine, we have this, but I, I just want to, when I do my workshops, I just want to implant like a little seed. Like, how about let's play opposite day? How about the opposite is true? Because we're believing that the other part is true, so how about the opposite is true? How about if 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 um, easy is normal? What about if happy, having good health is, is is normal? What about if happiness is normal? How about if living happy and this is a normal thing, which it is? Now, if happiness is our function and happiness is our birthright, then what it means is is that it's what we are, just like love. And we just forget. Right? So you're happy, you know, Fernando, your happiness, I like that red color, you're, you know, happy, happy. And you might have an issue at work, I'm just using it as an example, or you might have something, and you might like go to La La Land and play around. Let's call it Kata Land. <laughs> you're gonna go play in Kata Land and believe we believe your stories, believe the judgments, believe that somebody's attacking you, believe that you're so little that that somebody can actually take away your peace. Like, you're, li you're in that world, but you've forgotten. But guess what? You've never left your source. It's like you're under the happiness umbrella, right? Hold on. The happiness umbrella, right? Oneness, you know, we're one. Nothing, you know, we're not the suffering we believe. We're not the beliefs. This is the happiness. This is our natural. Have you guys ever felt that naturalness? If you just feel like happy for no reason, it's just natural. But then something comes. In Spanish we say, una mierda. Right, Grace? Una mierda. Yeah. Then we go like this. The umbrella's there, but we just forget. We think that so and so is the problem. We believe so and so is doing this. We get concerned about finances. We get concerned about health. We get, you know, the doctor tells you that these cells in your body aren't working very well, and you believe it. 
But little do you know that there's other cells in your body that are working perfectly well, that you just need to remember that those other cells are working and that you're perfectly fine. It's like a bow and arrow and you pull back. You pull back knowing that you, you have perfect cells in your body. You pull back knowing that you're unlimited. You pull back knowing that you're not even this body, that you're so much more than this body. And then here you are under the happiness and burn that again. And then you're singing in the rain. So this is how we, we do. We forget and we remember. We forget, we remember, we forget and remember. And it's part of life. But do you get how happiness is our natural state? It's our, what we're relieving that's taking away and we get like, it's like, it's an imposter. It's the same way that fraud is in the material world. Like when somebody takes your identity and they start using your credit cards or like, it's, an, it's, it's like that's what we're suffering, an identity problem. There's an imposter. I call mine Maria La Loca. Mm -hmm. Like when I go cuckoo, Maria's crazy, right? So <laughs> Maria La Loca is my imposter. And she comes out when things are not going my way. Or somebody's not playing the role accordingly. That makes me comfortable. Can you all relate? So these people, and you know the funny thing is that what I'm learning too is that that's not love. Love is free, love is open, love makes no demands. So what does that mean? Is that there's no demands. Whatever I think that I need from, I'm going to give an example. My husband, if I need him to give me attention and I feel that emptiness, I might talk to him about it. But first thing I'm going to do is I need to give me attention. I need to give myself time. What happens is that what we think we need, we project it. I'm going to get it from Tammy. Oh, no, let me get it from Fernando. Oh, no, let me get it from Martin. Martin, please, my, I, need, I need my happiness. Can you please give it to me? Tell me something nice. Tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me I have long legs. Tell me my legs. <laughs> 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 All of it. All of it. All of it. 